Hey, this week I'm finally doing my crab cakes with my roasted red pepper tartar sauce. So let's get to work. I'll start with two cans of crab meat, well drained. You want to look through that for any stray pieces of shell that may have gotten through. Season that with some dill. Some old bay seasoning. A little bit of granulated garlic. Some liquid smoke, ground mustard, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of paprika, a little mix, and I'll hit it with a little pepper, a little bit of Greek seasoning. About a slice of red onion and a stalk of celery diced up. And about two slices of bread that I kind of ripped up and then ran through my spice grinder. So I've got some nice fresh bread crumbs in there. And then we'll juice one lime. I kind of roll it on the cutting board to make it easier to juice. All right, now add one egg. Some mayo, kind of scramble that egg up, and then I'll mix the whole mixture together. Once I get this all mixed, I'll let it sit in the fridge for a little bit while I'm working on the other things. A little dash of Tabasco in this. A little bit of parsley. Now for the roasted red pepper tartar sauce, I'm going to use some green olives. About half a cup of mayo left over in the jar there. I'll just chop up the olives. The dill pickle spear. Chop this up pretty fine too. A little bit of dill. Actually, that was some pepper and then some dill. Some liquid smoke. The liquid smoke works really well in this tartar sauce.
I've got some capers that I'm going to chop up. And then I've got a couple strips of roasted red pepper that I'll dice up. And now for the breading. I'll just use some panko bread crumbs. A little more dill, some paprika, some granulated garlic, some pepper, and a little ranch dressing seasoning. And I'll get the saucepan going with some chicken broth and some water. For this southwest grain mix I'm going to put on the side of these crab cakes. I've added some cracker crumbs that I ground up in my spice grinder to the panko. Then I'll just form the crab mixture in, into some balls and then I'll flatten them out with my hands. A little bit of olive oil in my saute pan. And then I just throw the crab cakes into the breading mixture, press it on pretty firmly, and into the saute pan. These don't take very long to cook up. You just want to brown them. Give them a little flip to get browned on the other side. I'll add a little bit of oil to keep them from burning. Pan was getting kind of dry. And there we are, plated up with some of the roasted red pepper tartar sauce, grain mix, and green beans. Ready to go. Alright, two things of interest. Uh, I used the soft, fresh bread crumbs in the crab cakes to help keep them moist and tender. And then I use hard, uh, stale bread crumbs on the outer and this time I chose to use panko breadcrumbs. I also mix that with some uh, crushed cracker meal. So I hope you will give these a try. Until next time, thanks for watching.